Hey, what's good, everybody? Tomorrow is the big game. The Super Bowl is tomorrow and wings. Everybody loves wings. And I couldn't go by without getting you a wing recipe. Now, I personally don't own an air fryer. I'm sure it'd be much easier and much more time efficient, but there's a lot of people who don't own air fryers. So this is for you. And I don't always like to deep fry in my kitchen because it smells for a day or two because the oil gets everywhere. It's a pain to clean up. So easy crispy skin if your wings don't have a crispy skin what's the point of eating them anyway so i'm gonna show you how to make some extra crispy wings in your oven now do me a favor go ahead like subscribe hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of these great recipes so since this is a chicken wing video obviously our most important ingredient is going to be our chicken wings Personally, I'm a flats guy, but if you like drums, that's okay. More flats for me. Let me know in the comments. Are you a drum or a flat person? Now, we're doing a dry rub here. So I got my dry rub ready to go. I'll drop all those ingredients in the description box below so that you can make your own at home. Secret ingredient, baking powder. That's really what's going to help these, these wings crisp up and get that skin nice and crispy in the oven. And I'm doing these today with an Alabama white sauce. One of my favorite sauces for dry rub wings. Ranch is also up there as well. Blue cheese, you can take that somewhere else. Can't do it if it smells worse than my feet. I don't want it. Now, the important thing here so that we can get these wings nice and crispy is to make sure that they're super, super dry. So we're going to go ahead, pat these wings nice and dry. We'll get them coated up and then we'll make that sauce. So go ahead, get that oven preheated to 400 degrees, get those wings dry and we'll get to cooking. All right, guys, so our wings are nice and dry now. I took a paper towel, we just blotted those so they're nice and dry. Our oven is preheated to 400 degrees. And I've got a baking sheet here with a wire rack on it. Now, one of the reasons I've got this rack on here is we want that air to be able to get underneath the chicken as well as it's cooking, right? If we set that on parchment paper or aluminum foil or just the tray itself, we're not gonna get all that heat under there all at once. Now, First thing I want to do, take some cooking spray and we're just going to spray the rack down. This is going to help with sticking as well. Nice coating on our baking sheet on our rack. Now, our rub, we're just going to go ahead. We're going to put a little bit of this on here. And make sure they get all nice and coated. And we're just going to go in with our hands. Get in there, get them all coated, all coated. There's a lot of flavor here. We want to make sure we get these wings nice and coated. Once we get them coated to our liking, we'll go ahead, we'll space these out on our tray. And we don't want them to be touching, right? We want to leave some space for them. So again, they can cook evenly and we can get that skin nice and crispy. So these all covered and onto the rack they go. Now, when I put them on the rack, I want to leave that skin side up because I love the skin and I want to make sure that it gets nice and crispy. There we go. Like I said, space these out really well. And again, if we miss like here, miss a little spot on there, there's plenty of rub in here. Just make sure you get it covered. We've got enough, enough in here. And then we'll sprinkle them one last time before they go into that oven. Again, I'll drop all the measurements for the rub down below. It's pretty much equal parts of just about everything, but we got a little bit of brown sugar. So if you don't do sugar, you can certainly leave that out. Salt, pepper, lemon pepper, some Old Bay, cayenne, paprika, some other stuff. But I'll get it all down in the description box for you so that you can make yours just like these. Now it looks like I'm running out of room here. I got two more, so let's rearrange just a little bit. There we go. Definitely want to get the flat in there. And put you like that. One last sprinkle of our rub. Make sure we're good to go. There we are. Now, these are going to go into the oven. Like I said, 400 degrees. I'm going to put them in there for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we'll rotate that tray 180 degrees. Give them about 15, 20 more minutes, and they should be at an internal temperature at that point of about 160, 162. We'll pull those out, let them set for just a minute, and that heat will continue to rise internally to get them to that 165. You always want to make sure your chicken before you eat it is at 165. Now, sometimes if you find that your chicken gets dried out, <clears throat> it's usually because you've cooked it past that 165. So you don't want to cook it to 165 
just shy of it, then when it rests, it'll be perfect, juicy, and tender. All right, into the oven, and let's start making this sauce. All right, guys, it's time for our sauce. This is Alabama white sauce. We're gonna start with some mayo. We need about two cups here. Again, I'll put all the uh, specific measurements in the description box below. I like Dukes here. It's thick, creamy, and rich. I know all my Southern folks know about the Dukes. Listen, if you wanna use Hellman's, that's fine. If you're a Miracle Whip person, I do not have time for you. I don't do Miracle Whip, not a fan. Okay, so we got our two cups of mayonnaise. We need half a cup of apple cider vinegar. We need, I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of fresh horseradish. Now, if you're not a horseradish fan, you can adjust this to your liking. So it's roughly three teaspoons, two and a half teaspoons to a tablespoon. We need some lemon juice. Lemon juice. We need some Worcestershire sauce. Like so. Some fresh cracked black pepper. A pinch of salt. And then for some heat, a little bit of cayenne. Again, adjust to your liking. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my whisk and we're just gonna gently get this to come together. Now generally acids and mayonnaise don't play well together, but in this sauce, they come together just nice. And again, we're just looking for a nice consistency. Again, maybe something a little smoother than, let's say maybe your ranch or blue cheese. That smells amazing. The horseradish in there is phenomenal. And I can already tell I need a little bit more pepper in here. I want to be able to see that. I'm going to add a little bit more cayenne because I need some heat. And again, we always want to taste as we go, right? So we know where we're at with our seasonings. Now I'm actually serving this to some people tomorrow for the game. So I've got some tasting spoons. Otherwise, if it was just for me, I'd dip my finger in there. We'll taste it. Not quite there. A little bit more cider vinegar. I want some more horseradish in here. A little bit more Worcestershire. And again, one more mix. There we go. That's a little bit better consistency. A little bit runnier there. Give that a good mix. One last taste. That's what I'm talking about. That's where it's at. So that is our Alabama white sauce. Put this in the fridge. And this is going to be good to go. Going to be perfect for our wings. Wings fresh out of the oven. Look at this color. Look how great these look. Now, I'm going to hit them with just a little bit of lemon pepper on the top as well to finish these bad boys off. But this shows, yes, you can do crispy in your oven. Listen to this. That ain't no soggy wing right there. I tell you what. That is dry and crispy. Look, keep the flats for me. They're hot. So I'm not going to bite into it quite yet. But, yes, these, oh, these are going to be outstanding. I'm not, I, I, I know they're good. Listen, I, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. Listen, while it's cooling off, do me a favor. Let me know in the comments what your favorite type of wing is. Are you a ranch or a blue cheese person, a drum or a flat? And do me a favor, like, subscribe, follow, hit that notification bell. Into the sauce we go. Mm-hmm. Just what you need for your Super Bowl party. Until the next dish, y'all.